I am standing outside the office of the governor of Guam for some reason. We're about to meet him. My parents are inside waiting for him to become available. The uh, governor's current facility used to be a school that was interestingly built after my parents moved away from here, but has already completely changed its purpose. The uh, governor's complex is um, in somewhat severe state of disrepair in some places. This is the view from the governor's place. It's the city of, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's like Hagen Yada or something like that. It's quite warm and quite humid out here right now. Out there is a building called Lottie of Freedom. It's uh, it's built around a giant Lottie stone, which is some kind of um, tribal um, artifact that is found in different places around the island. We're going to learn more about these Lottie stones in the future. Here's some more Lottie stones. They appear to have been uh, placed here. Oh, you got your uh, little video? Oh. Right in the video. You shouldn't get lost. You know, everything kind of connects in one way or another. Yeah, as long as you get back on Marine Drive, you're okay. So what is, I forget the name of the road now that we took from Ordot down to Agonia. Um, Ordot, wow, you uh, took no, that no, road. Even see, I don't even know the route. There's Ordot, Shaw, and Pago. Okay, These yeah. English, photographs uh, were all taken by the L. Ron Hubbard, strangely enough. Right. You could, you know where the Chief Kapua, the loop, the Paseo loop? Okay, we have still the same. Okay. <laughs> if you drive down, there's still kind of the, the same things down there. That hasn't changed too much, mm -hmm. other than a few homes. Yeah, and then we're still in the... We did not see any terrorists while we were here, which is uh, lucky, apparently. Lottie stones incorporated into the uh, architecture here. It's kind of cool. So this is a statue of uh, Ricardo or Ricky Jerome Bordalo. He was a governor of Guam and he was also a U.S. senator but uh, he um, he uh, committed suicide actually. But this was his complex, the governor's complex. As it turns out, that uh, terrorism threat was not um, all smoke and mirrors. It turns out, at the time of um, the Bin Laden assassination, uh, Guam actually received a bunch of serious, tangible threats against uh, government officials here. And in fact, uh, for a few weeks, the governor actually moved his staff, like his, his uh, eight cabinet members, up to his mansion to live there, and each of them was escorted by uh, security guards 24-7. Across the street is a civil defense sign that says, be alert for suspicious persons or packages in your surroundings. That probably went up after the uh, Bin Laden scare.